Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's me, Katrina, from Katrina's Crochet World. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. <coughs> Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And there's a join button there if you'd like to become a member of my channel. So today we are going to be making a bag, and we are going to be using the said stitch. So in this, you can chain as many as you'd like. I chained 40. You do as many as you like and how big and wide you want your bag. We're going to be making two panels and then we're going to be making two straps. So I did my chain of 40. <clears throat> so we're going to skip the first two stitches and this stitch on the hook does not count. So you go one, two and in this third chain you're going to do a half double crochet and a double. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. And then we're going to do a double crochet back into that stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then you're going to skip two stitches and in the next stitch you're going to do three different stitches. We're going to do a single, half double, and a double. So to start off, we're going to do a single crochet, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, we're going to do a half double crochet, insert your hook, pull up a loop. You got three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Then we're going to do a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two yarn over, pull through two. And this is just a one row repeat. So you'll be repeating this pattern throughout the whole entire project. You're going to skip two. In the third chain, you're going to do a single crochet, half double, and a double. So insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. There's your single crochet. And then you're going to do a half double crochet Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through three. And then we're going to do a double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And when you're doing the first row, we're always skipping the first two chains and then the third chain is where we do our stitch. So you skip two, we're going to do a single crochet, half double crochet, and a double crochet, all in that one space. There's your single. Half double. And your double. So we're just going to repeat this pattern <clears throat> all the way across. You skip two and in the third you're going to do a single crochet, half double, and then double. So continue this till we get to the end and I will meet you at the end. So you skip two and in the last double crochet, you're going to do a single crochet to end it off. And then we're going to chain one, turn your work. And in the first, we're going to insert our hook do a single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. We just repeat this pattern throughout the entire 
project. So you're going to skip all of this and you're going to go over into this little spot right here. So you skip one, two, and in the third is where you're going to be doing your single crochet, half double, and single crochet. So skip these two and into this one here, do a single crochet, half double crochet, and then your double crochet. Skip these first two and right in here. You're going to do your single crochet, half double crochet, and your double crochet. And you just repeat this back and forth until you get to the width and the length that you want. And you're going to be making two panels. And at the end of every row, you're always going to end with a single crochet in the top. And then you chain one and turn. So I'm going to continue working this up until I have both my panels finished. And I will show you what to do next. So I have both panels done, as you can see. This is the bottom and this is the top. So what we're going to do is you can either sew or you can crochet down the bottom and up the sides. So we're going to start with the top. <gasps> Excuse me. We're just going to grab a bunch of yarn. And just cut it. Just kind of do a little knot there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go into this corner here. And then go in the top of this corner and just make sure you can get it as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to bring the yarn through. And then go back in and do a single crochet. And then we're going to go into the next one. Pull the yarn through and slip stitch. Doesn't really matter where exactly you put it as long as it is going in the same stitch in the first and the second. And they're lined up. So I'm going in the bottom, as you can see. Let me move my camera down here so you guys can see properly. So I am going, you see this here where you do your... Um, your double crochet, your single, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go in there and as well as the second. And then just right there. Right on the bottom again in both. Now you could do a slip stitch, you can do a single crochet, totally up to you, whatever you feel comfortable, if you are using a crochet hook. If not, if you're sewing it, you can just sew up with every single row, each stitch. So 
So just continue this until you get to the end and I will meet you back when once we get to the corner and I'll show you what to do next. So I'm just at my corner piece here. And we have slip stitched. So we're just going to go into this corner piece here and into that corner piece and do a slip stitch. And we're going to do the bottom piece, turn our work. And again, just work where you can. I'm going to put mine right in there. And there, just line it up the best that you can. We're just going to continue up here. Let me just move this up. So we're just going to continue sewing up the bottom here and I will meet you at the end and show you what to do next. All right, so we're just getting close to our end here. We're just going to go at the top. Then the same thing as we did on this side, we're just going to sew up the end or slip stitch, single crochet, whatever you choose to do. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is pouring out here today. It was beautiful yesterday. It's like a summer's day. And don't forget, guys, in my About page, I do have um, my Teesprings, which has my merch. If you'd like to purchase any of my merch, well, I've got um, tumblers in there, T-shirts, pants, masks. Uh, coffee cups, sweaters, all kinds of goodies in there. And I do have a PayPal account and I also have a FIFO. So we're just going to continue all the way across till we get to the top of the bag. And then just do the bottom. Do a couple chains. Then just make sure you leave a long strand so you can weave it in. And then just pull that up. I'm just going to grab the needle here. Just weave in the end.
you don't have to go all the way down the side just go as long <clears throat> just enough to make sure that it's being held there we go and then just cut off and we'll snip this one off So we're just going to fold this, push your corners in, grab the other side and push the corner in. And we're just going to turn it the right side. Just kind of put your hand in there and go up the sides to straighten it out. Okay. So there is the bottom part. So now we're going to do the handles. Do a slip knot. So we're going to do a chain of 60. Fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, and sixty. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do six rows of single crochets for the strap. I'm just going to lower my cam here so you guys can see a little bit better. So, what we're going to do is flip your work over, and in these little lumps in the back, is where we're going to do the single crochets so in the first lump you're going to insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through and this is your first row go into the second one do a single crochet and we're just going to do six rows of single crochets to make the straps and you're going to make two single straps So you're just going to repeat this all the way across. You don't have to go in the back bumps. You can go into the loops, but I prefer to go into the back <clears throat> because it leaves it that nice little um, part on the, uh, the strap. Leaves it looking really nice. So we're going to continue this until we get to the end and I will meet you at, at the end and show you what to do next. Just continue till you get to the end here. As you can see, I'm almost at my end. It's pretty simple. Like I said, it's just all in single crochets. I just like doing the back loop when I am doing handles because it makes it a lot nicer, smoother, and a lot thicker for the handles. Just gives it that nice edging look. 
So we're on our last here and you're just going to single crochet, chain one and turn your work. And then you're just, so that was the first row. You're going to do six in total and you're just going to do a single crochet in every single stitch all the way across until you get six rows of single crochets. And remember, you're going to do two sets of these straps. So I'm going to get the two straps done and I will meet you at the end and show you what to do next. Okay, so I have both of my straps here. So what I am going to do is, as you can see, you just count from the edge and just go one, two, and you want it separated. So between these two, just place the strap and just make sure it's all straight. Then you go one, two, just so it's spaced out. Then you're just going to grab your yarn and you're going to sew them together. So just make sure you hold it and it's just going to be above here. And like I said, you count one, two, that three and four, you cover both of those stitches. And then just tie that pretty tight so that it holds in place. And what I like to do is just to go over it a few times just to make sure that it is in place. And if you want, you can sew up the sides as well to make sure that they are fully in place as well. So just continue to sew up. If you want to just do the bottom here, you can do the sides just to make sure that it is um, going to hold in place. So I'm just going to continue and I'm going to sew this one up and then just make sure on the other side the same thing. You're going to sew it together and I will meet you and let you know what to do next. So we're just on the other side here. We're going to attach our second 
strap so again you count from two over and then you just it's gonna start from the top here or sorry the corner I like to leave a little bit of a tail there that way when you do that just kind of pull it and then just tie it to make sure it's fully secured just make sure that your straps are straight And then just work down the other side. Doesn't have to be perfect. You could always fix it up as well once you are done sewing it on there. Just get as, as good as you can. And then just fasten that off and then just uh, sew up your other end and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so there we go. We have it. We've got our little bag here. Oh, a piece of yarn there. Isn't that gorgeous? Like I said, you can do it any width or any length that you would like. You can line it if you want. Um, I think this is a perfect stitch. And I might just put like a single crochet just around this to kind of get rid of the rough edges here. But there you go. I hope this tutorial was great for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't already, like I said, hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And hit the thumbs up and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell for any time that I do a tutorial. And um, you will get notified anytime I go live or have a tutorial coming out for you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care, stay safe, and happy crocheting.